uh, how to uh, analyze a trapezoidal channel for a steady flow on the tutorial one we have seen uh, how we can perform steady flow analysis for trapezoidal channel but today we will see uh, a steady flow analysis so in order to perform uh, we shall study and analyze the geometrical cross section uh, and the reach are the same. So we need to open the earlier uh, tutorial one. Project 04 file. Here go to across menu file open projects. So open here folder. Our folder here in Intropis Rapid with that. Open this one. So double click to open. So there are two uh, projects here. So the first one is uh, our earlier uh, project. So okay to open it. Now as you can see, all uh, MPT rows have been filled. So uh, there is an steady flow row which is not filled. So this is we need to uh, perform this steady flow. So click on Edit menu of Hecras. So open this Hecras and steady flow data. We need to insert an steady flow here go into initial uh, initial condition we need to fill uh, initial flow distribution here so initial flow is 0 0.1 for upstream the main channel that is 0 0.1 so i'll go back i'll go back to boundary condition here apply data here go for a uh, boundary condition for this one for the downstream station which is one river station one uh, boundary condition type uh, will be uh, for normal dips for normal dips uh, the slope is necessary therefore slope fill the slope at 0.005 press ok here and for uh, trapezoid of uh, a river station type which is the upstream the boundary for condition is for hydrograph so click on after you checked this one click for flow uh, hydrograph so use simulation time uh, the other the dates leave as it is in pt it will be filled uh, later based on simulation so we need to fill this the hydrograph data in such a way I will fill this uh, hydrograph data for zero. Make sure this uh, simulation time gap uh, should be one hour. Two minus one, one, three minus two, one, four minus three, uh, one, which is the same one hour. So we need to fill uh, this this uh, flow as zero point one, zero point seven. So um, we need to fill here. We have already finished filling this flow data in such a way. This is the flow data. So uh, plot data. As you can see, this is uh, our uh, trapezoid at reach upstream. Upstream. This is a hydrograph at river station nine. Now, okay. As you can see, flow hydrograph in normal use for here yeah, the downstream station boundary condition type have been filled. So uh, save unsteady flow data. We need to save this unsteady flow data as a hydrograph one. Hydrograph one. So press OK here. Now we have filled this unsteady flow data using a name hydrograph one. So the other one is to perform this uh, the analysis. Therefore, in order to perform this unsteady flow analysis, run unsteady flow analysis. So click on unsteady flow analysis. As you can see, this is unsteady flow analysis. Type the first thing you need to give is plan zero to plan ID. Give it a plan ID here. Then uh, make sure these are unchecked. 
so you need to check make sure they are checked and this one makes the same day because uh, 18 hour is less than 24 hour so one day can be a uh, starting date and ending date so starting time click zero without a decimal point uh, ending time without uh, a decimal point that's the problem i think so um, after you finished in such a way time gap uh, you can take five sorry five minutes take five minutes as a computational interval time here then finally after filling this uh, com click on compute here as you can see a class finished computation for and std analyze for uh, trapezoidal uh, channel so we can uh, compute in such a way so you can see so uh, you can perform an std flow analysis using a class in such a way so finally you can view uh, also detail output of tables for uh, steady and uh, unsteady flow profile for steady state flow profile plan 01 you change plan 01 here and you can see uh, energy grid line elevation uh, velocity head in meter water surface elevation critical water surface elevation as you can see energy grid line slope every every uh, 